Okay, back in the woods. I'll show you the changes I've made to the frame. I've put in wing nuts to hold the crossbars on. Uh, they're all in every every corner, and I've got four guy lines on. Four guy lines on it to hold it nice. It's, it's quite uneven ground, so I've not really got it f proper flat, but that's sturdy enough. And I'm trying to determine where the wind's coming from. I think the wind's coming for this end, so I'm going to put the opening over the other side. Over the other side. So I'm going to get the covers on now, and we'll have a wee look. Okay, that's all the covers on. I've not pegged out the bottom. Uh, there's not a lot of wind, so I'm just going to leave the the bottom pegs out. So all the covers are on. The inside covers in. Have a look at that. That's the cover that goes over the top of the tent. These side panels. These go around the side of the tent. And at the side of the tent, that bit goes over the the, the top of the, the front of the tent but I'm just going to leave them hanging here now and that is uh, the inner liner goes all the way all the way around uh, so I'm just going to light a wee fire in here I don't even know why the wind's coming but it seems to have changed direction uh, So having a big gap here isn't great. I suppose I could find a stick and tie this up. I don't know what way the wind's coming. Even tie it to a guy line. Might tie it to a guy line just now. Right, I'll get a fire going, see how it operates. Okay, we've got the fire going. And the smoke just seems to be going out the top. Now, I would be here in the tent. This would be the tent opening. I'm getting a nice wee heat here. It's only a small fire. But everything seems to be travelling up and out the, out the top of the tent. There's nothing coming this way at all. So I think. That would work great. I think that would work fantastic. I'm gonna great wee heat here. And if you think the tunnel the tunnel of the tent would be behind me, that would just be filling up with heat. That'd be great. On a cold day. This is actually this small fire like that is actually warm enough I would say. Very warm. There's no smoke coming out the, out that out this direction whatsoever. It's all going out the top. I think that works perfect. And the sparks won't bother that material because it's flame resistant. So this part would be on top of the entrance. The entrance was come down quite low actually. The entrance would be about that height. About that height. This would be over the top of the tent. These other bits would be around the side of the tent. And you wouldn't get any smoke, fumes or anything coming this way. I don't know actually know where the wind's coming from. It's one of these winds that's you know it's there but uh you don't know where it's coming from, it could be coming from the back of me. But when I block this off, you can see the smoke just coming out the top. No smoke actually comes out the front. So I'm going to get, try and get some more, some more wood before that goes out, so let's find some dry stuff.
That's what it looks like from a distance. All the smoke seems to just go right out the top. Doesn't come out the front, which is great. So this is still a bit of a trial, so we'll find out once I put some more wood on. Now, the only place you get smoke is smoke comes out the top and if the wind's blowing kind of weird it can blow it back down from the outside down here but this whole thing would be covered up the whole tent would be covered up so you wouldn't get any smoke coming into the tent unless it came from here and it isn't coming from here uh, it's starting to rain a wee bit actually there's no smoke coming out the front of the tent yeah, the front of that, this shelter thing or the barricade that would come into the tent because the whole tent would be enclosed and this is the only bit this is the only bit here that the fire could come into so I think that's fantastic. Great wee heat off that. We need to find some more wood. It's, it's quite a wet day. Uh, we can get a decent sized fire going. Do you want to heat up the air better? The better the, the air is heated up, the better it work. So I'll get some more wood. So the smoke's died down a bit. Uh, but I think that works fantastic. I think it would work even better if I pegged out the bottom. But once you get a good heat, I've shut the door over a bit to see when I heat it up a bit. Uh, Have a look under, under the door. That's it. Look. The only bit you get smoke uh, is it comes out the top and then it swirls down down the sides of the thing, which it can't get into the tent. Uh, but that's a great wee heat. It's not a small fire. I think that would work fantastic. Making the tent a, an all year round tent. We'll just have a wee look for a distance again. But that is a great wee heat. That would be very comfortable. If you're sitting right up the end of the tent, you'd feel that heat. There's actually a tent up there, I don't know if you can see it. I checked in it. Right there. I checked in it to see if there were any dead bodies in it, but there's nothing. Somebody's just been camping in it. I've left a double air, air bed, sleeping bag, camping stove, big speaker. They must have been playing music. And it's a big Van Gogh six man tent. So, I'm not the only one that's here. So anyway, there's a look from a distance. And the smoke coming out the top. That works great. Really does work great. Didn't think, I didn't think it would work as good as that. But, that attached to the tent would be fantastic. Make it an all year round tent. Alright, and you could actually smoke smoke food in it. Put, put a rack at the top here and smoke some food or something. Start to make a rain cover for it. For when it's raining. You can just prop it up with two long poles. Uh, in the right direction for the wind. And it'd keep the rain out. But yeah, it works fantastic. That material's flame proof, 
fire retardant fabric it won't bother about sparks the only way it would go on fire if the material was actually in the flame it would actually go on fire then but it would only burn for settings and it would go out it just turns to a powder because I've tried it because I'm damn sure I'm not going camping building fires in tents that could burn me to death so be careful if you make one of these you, you use the right kind of fabric uh, so I'm going to have a wee look inside I'm getting a wee heat now uh, it's quite a cold day it must be about 4 degrees Fahrenheit and that is a welcome heat I must admit that is great it's only a wee tiny fire as well uh, that's all you'd need you fire like that put put all your kind of firewood around the edge to dry it out uh, keep it dry see up here the air's nice and warm up here is it no. you got a nice cold breeze coming between these covers ah, it works fantastic it really does you could quite happily sit in this tent here no smoke coming in no fumes coming in just get just the heat's coming in there's a wee gap see like in the corner there it's lifted up you'd want that down firm maybe put your fire with a long long edge to keep it down uh, the tighter the better the better it would work uh, but it's working fantastic just now really pleased with that ok it takes a few minutes to put up but if you're away for a I would only take a tent like this for a, a long weekend or a week I would need to take it like an overnighter uh, but a long long weekend or a week fishing trip would be great to come in into the tent after being at, at a loch getting really cold with the wind and coming into a tent and it was it was lovely and warm like this it'd be fantastic and you could just sit in a or make a trivet sit on top of it metal trivet have a kettle on it as soon as you come in you could just pull yourself a cup of coffee ah, it's, it really is good well happy with that well worth taking the time to try it uh, and that's that so I'm just going to take it let the fire burn down a wee bit put it out and smoke to come out the top uh, put my stuff away and I think I'll celebrate with a a beer or two I'm quite happy with that that's great, it works really great I'm really happy uh, it's actually worked better than I thought a wee bit uh, apprehensive there because of that tent that's up there I thought, I mean, had a look in didn't want to find MD dead in it or anything but just as well as nobody but a wee bit apprehensive that somebody's up been up here uh, and you don't know if they're going to come back or whatever but anyway that's it, works fantastic well happy and I'll be using that First chance I get, bye now.